for your exercise, you're going to be designing an experiment that is going to evaluate different helicopter configurations so we can maximize the flight time. This is going to be a three-factor, full factorial experiment. So let's begin. We start by opening Minitab to a brand new, clean worksheet. So to begin, we'll start with STAT, DOE, factorial, and we're going to create that factorial design. This design is going to have three factors. So we will select three factors. The design that we will choose in this particular case is going to be the full factorial. This way, we can study all combined effects of the three factors. The number of replicates that we're going to have will be five. If we have five replicates, for a full factorial experiment of three factors at two level settings and eight experimental combinations, there'll be four experimental runs per level setting of a factor. So four runs times five data points gives us 20 data points per experimental condition. So for each level setting of a factor, we'll have 20 data points to analyze. That's a really good sample size. The factors. Factor A is going to be the underwing fold. It is a text, so I can pull down this and select text or type in T. Use the tab key to move over. The low setting will be yes, the high setting will be no. Use the tab key. Factor B is going to be the point, whether we fold the body to a point. And that will be text, and yes, and no. And for factor C, this is going to be the body length. That will be text as well. And the setting for a low setting is going to be the full length, and the high setting will be shorter. So now we can say OK. So we have underwing fold, yes and no. The point, whether it's a folded to a point or not, yes or no. And the body length, full or shorter. All right, options. We're not going to randomize the run so that when I generate mine, it'll look the same as yours. And from a result standpoint, we'd like a summary table, but we don't need to have any default interactions. And we're going to say OK. And now we can generate our design. So let's go up to the big blue eye and go over to the worksheets folder. We'll click on that. And here we have our worksheet. We'll make it, we, we're going to give this a name, right click, and we're going to call this our helicopter DOE. And we'll make it big. So here's our helicopter design experiment. And it's a full factorial experiment. And the way Minitab has done this is it has given us, here's our full factorial experiment, all eight runs. And then it has repeated these eight runs in order for the replication five times. So what we want to do for the ease of uh, putting together our data sheet for data entry, we're going to set this up and put it in order. So we're going to sort this, and then we'll also have a column for flight time. That's where our time in seconds will be placed. And we're going to type in 1 through 8. And now we're going to copy 1 through 8. And I'm going to copy this down till the end of the experiment here and paste it, Control-V. And now what I want to do is I want to sort this, so now all my run 1s are together, my run 2s, 3s, 4s, and 5s, etc. So I'll go to Data and Sort. And to sort this, I need to sort all of it. So C1, 
hold down the shift key down to C8, select that, and then the sort column is the one that we called sort. And we're going to store it in the original columns, and then I can just say OK. All right, so now it's in order. So all five run number ones are now together. So we're only going to set up each condition one time. We're just going to repeat it five times, and this allows us to do the data entry. So you're going to be creating a helicopter that's called number one, and that would have a yes underwing fold, yes a point, and a full body length. And a helicopter number two, which is going to be no underwing fold, a, a point at the body, and full length. Um, a number three helicopter, which is yes, no, and full. A number four helicopter. A number five helicopter. A number six helicopter. A number seven. And then finally, a number eight helicopter. So you're actually going to make eight separate helicopters that represent each of these experimental conditions. Now you'll have to watch the video to see how that we how we flew these, but typically we stand on a ladder, use a, use a stopwatch, drop them from the ceiling, and when they hit the ground we stop the watch. Record the time in seconds. And then we can conduct the analysis after you've flown all of your helicopters five times each. So that's how you design the experiment. Now you need to make those helicopters so just print out the template and make eight helicopters under the different conditions and then you're going to be able to fly them, collect the data, and then analyze this DOE. Good luck and have a whole heck of a lot of fun.